Hi, today I want to speak about an idea which is now kind of becoming reality. Uh, I've blogged about this a month ago and you kind of kind of see it here, uh, not here, um, in the uh, slide view. Um, I'm speaking about uh, C++ review community, which is focused on reviewing libraries. And if I go forward into the slides, we're directly going to see what this is about. Um, one of the core ideas for this, um, I, I kind of was thinking about this, but last year when Eric Niebler uh, said that, you know, there's this tweet from Eric um, that, you know, C++ community have or should have a crowdsourced code review resource uh, and that would be pretty cool. So um, I was thinking about something in this field, but uh, when, when Eric basically was, uh, you know, just mentioning that without ever having talked to Eric about this, I, I knew this is like a, probably an idea where also other people are thinking about, um, which uh, got me thinking on how to um, actually do this or how would I want to, to put this in uh, things. And this got me to uh, the topic of library certification. And this came also from uh, the second big motivation boost for that, um, which was my talk on C++ communities, which especially was focused on uh, comparing what Boost and Qt do good, where they are, could learn from each other. And also part of this talk was um, what we could as a community today, or what, 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 what would we need as a C++ community today. And um, this is one of the answers uh, that came to my mind. Um, and yeah, this is, was born as, just as an idea and I run it through a few discussions. I presented uh, this as a part of a talk at the Italian C++ conference where kind of the first time where it went public and, you know, we had a short discussion about that. Um, now I was looking like how, how to put this into, into reality and I decided to use uh, as a community platform Reddit because there's already a large C++ community. And I kind of could, um, yeah, shoehorn the things I needed into the interface from Reddit. So that rather works well. And yeah, as I mentioned, the review community, the focus is on libraries. So we're not like doing code reviews for GitHub or anything. Um, and later I want to uh, have a list at Meeting C++ about those reviewed libraries which have passed the review so that people can have an overview of the uh, growing list of libraries. And if I go to the next slide, the reviews itself, um, as I said, yeah, library focus, um, it's, it's, each library has one Reddit thread where a certain library is being reviewed for about a month. And then the decision if it's accepted or not will be made but the review itself probably will stay open. It definitely will stay accessible. It will also be linked from the listing, so that always people can give their feedback to the library there and read the uh, reviews and make a decision on rather if they want to use the library or not. So we are creating a resource for libraries and making it easier for the C++ community to uh, get an impression from a library they just want to use for something. Um, and then when the certification is there, there's going to be a list and I created this logo, which I still have to improve a little bit, um, where you get to see, of course, a link, uh, which is the name and the documentation is linked. Uh, you're going to kind of say, well, which, which version was reviewed, uh, on, on what date was the review ending. Uh, you know, it's always kind of a month previous to that when it began. Um, a link to the review thread is very important to me that people actually can look up uh, in kind of the, 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 the background of why was this library or what, what was the issues or what was the good things which were mentioned. Um, and I'm going to have a listing of the C++ standard um, because every library has to say which is like the, the, the minimal standard they uh, adhere to and this starts with C++ 11. So if you want to be reviewed, you have to have a library which uses C++ 11 or beyond. And um, you have to state your external dependencies if there are any, the license. And um, yeah, some libraries have optional constraints like embedded or something that they're certain that they're, that they're 
coming from a certain field and are trying to adhere to certain um, things like you know, certification in some other fields like industry. Uh, if that's the case, um, authors should mention that and that should also be listed. And yeah, this, this whole idea had a great start. We are currently at 350 members in the community and it's growing every day. Uh, the first two reviews which are currently ongoing are the libraries Bulk and Dynamics. Um, Bulk is a library for uh, using an MPI access and multi-threading access for like scientific computing and other bulk computing problems. And Dynamics is a library to compose objects during runtime in a polymorphic way. Um, I think we're just quickly gonna have a look at you know what what a library should have um, before we head over to the browser and see like what the community is about. Um, so of course you have you you have to have tests and documentation. Um, the library has to be open source, and I would say we prefer library uh, liberal library licenses and. You should follow one consistent coding style. I don't really care about what coding style you'd have, but that should be consistent so people can read the code without just, you know. Um, your library should, as I already mentioned, uh, at least support C11 or beyond. Uh, Bulk is a C17 library, which we currently have in review. Um, single purpose is mostly the, yeah, we currently are not able to review frameworks. So that's just not the, the, the plan. And the the community is also not not big enough for that. Maybe maybe we are able to review frameworks at one day, um, and of course, yeah, you gotta have a public repository where people can access the code and, and review it. Um, yeah, as I said, coding styles. The GSL uh, Boost has a good uh, overview on library requirements, and if you want to follow that and want to or aim it a long time to to put this into Boost, um, that's also fine. Um, and but what's really important to me is that it's production ready. We want to review libraries which are usable by other people. So your library should be a possible third library, a uh, third party library to someone else in their code. And with that, we are quickly going to head over to the web browser and just look at Reddit. And as you see, Reddit, um, there are four threads currently. Um, one is a submission thread, uh, one, is the, one is a root thread, which we are probably going to look into first. And then there's uh, two review threads for bulk and for dynamics each. Um, so this is the rules, which I kind of, you know, says everything and what I already said just here. Uh, people can read through it before they submit their libraries or if they you know, want to know what the rules are before they review something. Um, and then this is the submission thread where um, people submit their libraries. And that's basically the only thing which happens in this thread is people submit the, submit the libraries. And if you're interested in having a certain library reviewed, you can upvote that library, which is here currently we have four libraries listed and as we currently review two libraries per month to um, you know not split the focus too much um, the next libraries which are currently looking to be in review are arcs and metal um, but that can change as there's probably some some other libraries being submitted and you know, as, as i mentioned you can upvote and downvote libraries in this uh, reddit thread and that's, that's how we're going to determine the popularity of a library to be reviewed or not um, and then a quick look. This is a review thread in this case for, for um, bulk. And there's a few, a little bit of a discussion about bulk and bulk as a C17 library. That's why I asked, for example, why they use it and what they use it because it's just, yeah. And there is actually a very interesting review of dynamics here. So where um, you can really see some some details of uh, what what dynamics gets right and there are some other things which should be refactored in dynamics so um, that's definitely an interesting read and but actually I would like to have all reviews in, in this review thread which you can see here can close that I can open it again um, 
because I want all reviews to be in one place and I want discussions to be somewhere else so that um, discussions don't mix with reviews. Um, because at the end, I have to see like how many um, reviews are there, what is accepted, what is declined, what do they say. And that's that's what uh, one I want this in one central place instead of having to to search through a very very long thread through Reddit. And that is the whole idea. Two libraries are currently in, in review, and it's probably really helpful if you want to join this and review current libraries or upcoming libraries. So if if you want to be part of that, go to our to, to reddit.com slash r cpp review i'm gonna link it down there and join the community um where where we need help that's that's a good topic you know what what can you do um i i definitely uh want of course experienced users to to review libraries that's great but if you're a beginner you still can help and you can help with tools for example you can um scan the library with static code analyzing tools like cpp check and others and post the result um, to to the review thread as this is like really important information and currently we don't have anybody who's doing um the the sanitizers so if if, if you're familiar with the sanitizers or if you always wanted to become familiar with the with sanitizers that would be your chance um just download a library which is currently in review and then pass this uh, through a sanitizer and post the results and maybe you find issues which should be fixed um and there's also a couple of other low-hanging fruits you can of course if, if you're a beginner i think the the best feedback you can give is to about the documentation if you read the documentation is there something missing in the documentation should the documentation be improved in some point um, that is really a thing where I think that uh, even if you're not really advanced as a user, that's like really easy, uh, like, you know, especially for users which aren't that advanced. I think they, they have like the opportunity to, to show us uh, advanced users where we can improve documentation that uh, the uh, entry into a library is easier. And um, there's a couple of other things uh, like in the, in the boost review for beast i used a fuzzer to uh, to fuzz beast and was successful and found an error in the parser um the current libraries we are currently in review i don't know if they're really good for fuzzing but you of course can try look into the library and see if there's any interfaces that could be easily entered with a string and be fast um so yeah join us in this community in this effort for c plus plus and become part of the RCPP review community. Then see you at Reddit.